Let's look at some various kinetic rate laws and various plots to determine the characteristic plot for various rate laws. So, for instance, zero order kinetics means the rate is independent of any concentration. So the rate is just a constant. If you plot concentration versus time, or write the rate law versus time, concentration is given by k times t, just a constant times time. The half-life of a zero order chemical reaction is given by the initial amount, initial concentration divided by kt, and the units of the rate constant molar per second. So if I plot, I have a zero order chemical kinetics and I plot concentration versus time, I get a linear plot. Plotting natural log concentration versus time, of course, won't give me a linear plot, and one over concentration versus time will not result in a linear plot for zero order kinetics. So the characteristic plot, that is, the plot that determines the kinetics, the plot that's linear for zero order kinetics is concentration versus time. Let's look at first order kinetics. First order kinetics, the rate is k times a to the first power. And if I write that versus time, that gives me a exponential. It's the concentration is e to the minus kt versus time. Half-lives are given by natural log 2 over k, independent of the concentration for a first order kinetics. And the units of the rate constant, reciprocal seconds. I can look at three plots for the concentration versus time, first order kinetics, natural log concentration versus time for first order kinetics. That is a linear plot. So the characteristic plot for first order kinetics, natural log A concentration versus time. And of course, one over concentration versus time for a first order reaction will not give you a linear plot. Second order. Kinetics, when I have second order kinetics, the rate is proportional to the concentration of A squared or a product of linear concentrations. And I can write that versus time. The concentration versus time goes as this expression here. And I have a half-life that's dependent on 1 over the initial concentration. The units of the rate constant are reciprocal molar, reciprocal seconds, 1 over molar, 1 over seconds. When we look at the three plots, concentration versus time for a second order, and now you can see they're very similar, concentration versus time for first and second order plots. So you can't determine whether it's first or second order very easily from a concentration versus time plot. If you plot natural log concentration versus time for a second order reaction, it's not linear, but a one over concentration versus time is linear for a second order chemical reaction. So when you find the linear plot, you determine the kinetics. So that's a summary of our characteristic kinetic plots and the parameters for zero order, first order, and second order kinetics.